Well, there you have it. They've destroyed Disney. And, you know, the company finally came out and admitted that their woke bullshit is, is the reasoning behind it. The stock from Disney's plummeting. The company's pretty much fucked. And, you know, I, normally I'd be happy. Like, I'm happy to see that the woke people get screwed over. But there's a lot of other people suffering. People that have their money in that company. And I'm sure there'll be lawsuits. Because they basically admitted that their, their nonsense movies that they make... I mean, Disney hasn't made a good movie in I don't know how long. And the ones they do make are... You know, let's hate America. Let's watch the, the girls kiss the girls. And, you know, they're, they're, they're bullshit. Everybody knows what they've been doing. And for a lot of reasons that you would understand and a lot of reasons you wouldn't, there's no fixing it. It's basically, it's a timing thing. I mean, the, the company is so fucked up and the people that destroyed it are so entrenched, they could never bring it back. So they lost $200 billion, the market share in the company and then what will happen now is somebody else almost definitely Apple will buy Disney but they'll wait year, year and a half until the company's value is even half of what it is now so the shareholders suffer because these people that live in a different universe than regular people destroy the company and, and, and that, that eager that the guy that runs it he had left he came back which was a mistake he, he's one of the most brilliant businessmen of our time but he fucked up and now a lot of people have to pay the price they'll never get at these companies the Budweiser thing it's Disney it's Target they'll just never get that they live in a different universe than most normal people but they did admit it and I don't know why, but other companies just don't get it. I guess they all have to go the same way. But it's a shame. Uh, thank God I, I'm not a shareholder in Disney. Because they just fuck the people outright. And like I said, they'll, they'll, they'll never fix it. So there goes another one. Along with Budweiser and Anheuser-Busch and all these companies that get tortured over their nonsense. But like I said, they just live in a different world they don't understand and I guess they never will but it's a lesson it's going to be a tough lesson for a lot of people that had their money in it but I mean I guess they couldn't run they couldn't run away that fast they thought Disney Disney you know, that fucking Walt Disney guy is just spinning in his grave he's totally sickened by these people you know if, if he could be here today it would probably kill them <laughs> again anyway. But that's it for Disney. That's their story. And uh, we'll see what happens. But they'll definitely be bought once they're worth a lot less than what they are now.